girl Fostering. This dog here is called Izzy and uh, we're fostering her for a while just to get her out of uh, some kennels that she arrived at. Uh, this amazing dog was abandoned at a vet. She's amazing. Izzy the underdog, as we all call her, uh, came from Love Underdogs, a uh, rescue and rehabilitation centre based in Essex. Links as always are in the description below. We decided to do some fostering because um, since losing our own dog, Sally, there's been a bit of a gap, a bit of a Sally-shaped gap to fill. Um, and um, Izzy has come along and, and filled that hole in our hearts for a time. Izzy. She is a Staffordshire Bull Terrier Lurcher Cross, um, which gives her a very, very interesting look. She's long and sleek with a long nose like a lurcher, but she has a little bit more characteristics around her face and her colouring, her kind of sandy ginger colouring is definitely from a staff. She definitely has her nature from a staff because she loves human beings. Tired. So basically Izzy has moved in and uh, made herself at home. Having a dog in this boat again is really, really nice. Just having that energy and that presence, um, it does make me feel good. It does come with a little bit of a price. At some point, um, she will be found a home and then I'll have to say goodbye to Izzy. I know that that's gonna be sad. You know, fostering is not for people who want to um, have a dog long term um, and I think I'm able to sort of you know keep Izzy at a distance emotionally even though it's very difficult because she's very easy on the eyes. It's difficult not to fall in love with this dog you know if she was just uh, chewing up everything and shitting all over the floor <laughs> it would probably be easier to give her up to a family but she's just so lovely and peaceful and most of the time she just sleeps and is just a calming presence, um, which is very reminiscent of my Sally. There are times when it's making me miss my dog more, and then there are times when I know that Izzy is not Sally, and that, uh, you know, I can just feel happy that, uh, that this dog has just come from the universe and is spending some time with me. Uh, so uh, I'm very grateful that I get the chance to look after a dog and, and get the dog out of a difficult situation. She wasn't really coping in the kennels very well at all. So I see myself as like a, a as like a, a stepping stone for Izzy. She gets out of the kennels, she gets to be with a family, she gets to be in a home, she gets to just relax on the sofa um and just and just be in a in a in a lovely loving environment and then that's a transition for her to go to um, a, a family that will look after and love her for the rest of her life. Izzy! Oh, 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 oh. Sit, sit, good girl. I already know that I'm going to miss this dog but that's okay. I still miss my dog. Get one over on me, huh? Yeah, it doesn't matter how much you wag your tail. <laughs>